Hello everybody, it's me, Levester again, and today I want to show you the another um, VR framework or interaction um, toolkit or asset that will speed up your progress, um, your development process in VR. Um, this is another one I use that I really like, the VR interaction framework. I use this for a couple projects as well, and it has a lot of things that are already set up for you. Like here you can see in this video it has weapons set up for you, a lot of different um, weapons. Like automatic weapons and pistols that you can already have set up in your game so it really saves a lot of um, development time when creating your VR games so I am going to hop over to unity show you how to set it up right quick and then we're going to hop into the demo scene and play in the little playground that it has and I will see you over on that side all right so here we are in unity in a new URP project using Unity 2021.3.4 F1, I guess. Um, and it's a U, like I said, a URP project here. So what I'm going to do first is convert it over to Android. So I can put it on my Quest, put the demo scene on my Quest. So I'm just hit switch platforms there. Let it do its thing. All right, so there we, we uh, switch the platform. Uh, go ahead and fix some of these errors here. Go to Quirt to play a setting. Let that open up and just chain. Take out this open GLS, GLES2. Take that out there. Clear that error. All right. And then that should clear out once it's done compiling. All right. There we go. I'm going to go to the package manager. And I'm going to make sure I go to my assets. And I'm going to put in. V F R I or I R. No, V R I F. That's what I want to put in. For the VR interaction framework, looks like I need to update. So I'm going to just go ahead and update it right quick. Right there. All right, then I'm just going to import this into my project here. So now that this is installed, I can exit out of here. And I want to go to edit, project settings, and with the Interaction framework, VR interaction framework, it already installed the plugin management. We just got to go in and finish setting it up. Since I already set this up as a Android project, it already put me on the Android settings. I just need to add Oculus here. And then if I go over to the PC standalones, just like before, and I, as I stated previously in some of my videos, um, well, yeah, so here we're just going to go with Oculus 2. Sorry. I thought it was going to have um, the open VR. I don't see it here. Maybe because I already switched it to Android, it just took out that option. But nonetheless, we can continue going on and looking at this asset. So I'm going to exit out of that. Go to this first asset, this BNG framework here. Then I'm going to go to scenes. And here you can see they have a lot more. Uh, well, they have a whole bunch of scenes here to show their product. So we can either go to the rigid body player first or the XR demo. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, if you click on rigid body player, you can see you have this playground. Oh no, there are different. So I want to go to XR demo. And here is their big playground um, to work with their assets here. Let me just fly over here. And like I said, if you if you have all these gizmos on here, you know, like all these speakers for the sound and stuff, let's just turn that off by clicking the gizmo icon up there. And you can see they got bow and arrows. They have weapons. They got a little backpack system here. They have some two-handed weapons there. Different hands back here. A whiteboard, a mirror, some levers, some sting wheels, doors, and just a lot of things, UI, it's a ladder for climbing, and a little zip line there. So this comes with a lot of stuff already set up for you, and I have used this longer. Um, I've been using this um, for a while now, so I'm pretty familiar with some of this stuff and used it for a couple projects. And I really like this one just because it has all these things already set up for you. Um, like this inventory backpack system so you don't so whenever a game object is like connected to one of these snap points they automatically snap into this backpack and you throw it on your back 
And then they have a variety of weapons here. They got pistols, automatic weapons, shotguns, um, already set up for you. And it's really easy to um, go in and set them up. If I click on one of these, I clicked on the rifle here. If I look down here and look in the inspector, it already has the gravel set up. Uh, if you look at the one I'm looking for, this Raycast weapons, um, all you have to do is go in here and change the numbers. If you want it to be an automatic weapon, the, if you want it to be infinite ammo or internal ammo, uh, fire rate, uh, how much ammo it has, and things like that. Um, now this is just already set up the muzzles and things like that and it's really easy to switch it out so they have this default model here but if you have your own gun models it's really easy just to switch them out and put in their model so you don't really have to like switch any code around all you really have to do is just take this rifle copy it and then they have a section over here for like the gun body and you would just line up your gun with the where they have things here so it's really easy to set up your guns here and they have a video on how to do it um, as well a quick tutorial video on how to do it as well so i really like this one um, i used this for my red tails project um, for that game jam when you was um, in that game you fly with the red tails and you're in an airplane and i use this little joystick to help control the aircraft turning it left and right up and down and things like that so i really do like this asset and also when i click on photo to another one a vehicle example here so this one they have a car set up so if you want to make like a racing a vr racing game or something like that then they already have a car set up here you can just come in here and drive this car and um have a moving vehicle already and then this rigid body here it's just like another playground to show like the body having a uh, rigid body and some physics to it so you can bump into things these all these different little panels here just explains what goes on here these hand hand jets here and they add force through his body when the player is set up it can treat as a rigid body this allows to exert a force so these are just different things here and i'm going to hop in vr and show you some of these um things here i'm going to show you this xr demo scene in vr and then i'm also going to show the vehicle example in vr one last thing i forgot to mention before i hop into the vr side of things this um playground um, sandbox demo scene that i'm about to show you is also available on SideQuest. so if you want to hop in and play around yourself and see what they have to offer you can download it on um, side quest as well and you can just go in play with the things i don't think the vehicle driving one's going to be in there but the main playground where they have a lot of the interactions is going to be in there you can go in and check it out for yourself and see if you want to use this asset or not so now i will see you all on the other side all right everybody here we are with the virtual reveal the vr interaction framework here in the little sandbox playground that they have so let's just walk around and see what they got in here i'm gonna start over here with this table they have a hammer here that you can use to hit stuff with hammer system that's it they got bow and arrows you can either pick up an arrow and put it on i know i'm using that hand i'm left-handed not really an archer but so it has like two different ways you can use this you can either just pull the trigger next to the bow string to shoot has those breakaways there some little ping pong balls i guess to show you some things up A joystick here for that little vehicle. And like I said, I use this for the red tails. I use this little pretty much to like this here in the airplane to move the airplane around. This button presses. Here we have weapons. This one doesn't have any ammo in it. 
grab a magazine. You can see I have to do the whole. And you have a silence one. Don't have anything in it either. There we go. And like I said, I'm going to down. One of these is like, uh, what this one is, probably the infinite ammo. Yeah, infinite ammo. So, different color weapons. I forgot what this yellow one did. I can't grab. There we go. Uh, automatic pistol. Right there. And then this one is one where they changed the bullet to be a little flag doll dude. We see that one here. See if I can grab it. I can't. I can't. So like I said, you change the bullet so you can see that little guy. Little robot. You have your automatic weapons. Where you need two hands to grab it. Destructible boxes there. I never fail. That's enough with weapons. We all know what weapons do. It's a shotgun. You can put little individual. I'll show you the shotgun. You can put individual rounds into the shotgun as well. Then go bottom. There you go. You can see it has one in there now. Two. It's like that. It has a little back pass system. So I can grab this, pull one out. No, just grab it. There you go. A little big pack system there. Um, right over there. I want to do a little writing game or something? I can grab some mark. Yeah, I can write on this board over here. So, I marks. So, I guess I can run on anything. It looks like I can cut. Mark. This is a little punch that you make. So, you can punch if you want. Well, yeah. That little sound was like a more. So, if I, um, Bad dog, Kevin, robot Kevin. These are like rocket hands, so I can yeah, rocket in air. Oh yeah, my little. My two. I got a little A hand collision. I don't want to pick that up. Let me take my hands. I um, so I got arm. There. On. Got your left and your wheels. Get up. To do my many things. What's that? I keep them laid down. Come on. Let's see. Is this action? Yeah. Oh, 
do a Kamehameha. <laughs> we have that there. Over here, what does this do? I don't know what this does. Anything that tells me what it is? Yep. Let me get that ladder over there. Ball. So a lot of things are set up here. You have doors, so you are here. So if I come around here right quick, before I show you the doors, some sliders and things, buttons, check boxes, a sliding door, a door with handles, and then a double door. So you have some doors already set up for you here and here on this side you have some drawers already set up for you I don't need that anymore Little drawer there and then let me come back around here I don't know if I can climb up this pole but they have some climbing mechanics up, up this climb up pole here some more climbing right here on these yellow bars Ah, zip lining. Okay, so here is the vehicle drive scene. And like I said, you just drive around and it already has a setup. So if you want to make a VR racing game, then it's already set up for you. So I can just grab the steering wheel. You can see it's turning my cars. And it says grab the steering wheel and use the grip, I mean the trigger button to move forward and reverse. So it goes backwards and then go forward. Might be a little disorienting <laughs> doing this in VR because your body's not moving, but really sensitive too. But like I said, you can drive here as well. This is just a joystick here, I guess. I don't know what this joystick does. I'm gonna go over the ramp right quick. Try to line it up. Uh, oh, I know how to drive, everybody. Just to let you know, I do have my license. <laughs> This is the drive scene I wanted to show everyone. If you wanted to make a VR racing game, here you go. 